this is a, a mouth-watering prospect, a game that has provoked so much discussion and reruns of past meetings and controversies. Hello everyone, welcome back to this week's EA Sports FIFA 13. Now this is the first game to introduce the red of Cardiff City. Which was interesting at the time. But yeah. I got a lot of stories behind the red dragon. Well, at the time they were called the red dragons. But we'll gloss over that. Because this is the time where Cardiff got promoted. Yeah, who remembers that? The Bluebirds promoted. Oh, so close. But yeah, Cardiff were promoted with a certain Scottish manager. American, my God. But uh, yeah, people just split on everything with the rebrand. Because Tan thought it would boost the market of the Asian market and it would uh, he he think thought it would have been a good idea to switch to red because Man United were red and Man United at the time did not bring much success so yeah I so see later on his mother told him to uh, bring the colour back the blue of course the tradition of the heartbeat of and what every fan manager and player bleeds is blue not red as we're about to shoot oh so close but yeah overall this uh, season I mean as a hardcore fan of Cardiff, that is the, uh, has gone. I'd, as much as people hated the idea of a red home shirt, just forget Jay, one minute the that the shirt yeah, was our home kit. There, the shirt was cute. a nice designed kit. Now, me... And I know you, some of you guys would get ready to dislike all ever, but I don't know. I, 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 I loved the red kit yes, nice ball. and at the time I did obviously I did buy this kit when it was released but uh, only because in our lifetime it's never been done before I mean who would change Chelsea's home kit to a red home kit in it so I just thought because it was a nice kit overall uh, obviously, just despite home being at home, but a lot of fans turned away. A lot of fans turned away. Then they came back, only because we got promoted. Obviously, not everyone came back, but the uh, <laughs> the plastic seat fans, the the fans just go there for glory. Uh, just thought, hmm. This team they have yet to do anything in 53 years. Yeah. But uh, overall, the whole red thing was a bit silly, really, wasn't it? And at, the to at this time, uh, the whole city manager, the whole city owner thought of the same. He, instead of doing the uh, switcheroo of the kits he thought he just changed the name of the club to Hull Tigers now I think I'm not too sure but I think there's a, rug a rugby team called Hull Tigers and uh, yeah people weren't that pleased with the owner and then eventually with Cardiff in Cardiff situation of course 
there was protests years after and all that jazz. And uh, yeah, it was pretty interesting at the time because, I mean, like I said before, this has never happened to our team. Not since Riverside changed to Cardiff City. So yeah. But overall, I'm just saying that I liked the kit. I just didn't like the fact that it was a home. So yeah. Here we go then. Let's concentrate more on the uh, football. On the game because my history is not pleasing anyone. Shoot. Oh, oh. oh no. In fact, I remembered a time where they were giving out free red scarves. I mean, I'm, that was a good trick up their sleeve. Because the, on the night of the game, it was absolute freezing cold. So people would, would either bring their own scarf or just suffer. And uh, the red scarves. Oh, so close. And the red scarves were like, oh yeah, let's get the whole stadium turning red. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then Tan would have been like, ah, uh, yes, did, this is a uh, red, never blue, no, but red, yeah. I'm sorry, but for the accent. <laughs> uh, it's half time anyway in this game. Uh, we are now now. And I've been rambling on throughout the game, but I do hope you enjoyed my little story, well, my little discussion here. I'm telling you when uh, the Bluebirds turned red. Now I'm going to carry on uh, throughout the uh, this match about the time we turn red, but there will be a different, a different uh, gameplay, well game on FIFA 13 when the series on my channel. Uh, playing old games in 2020. Uh, I was trying to trick shot. Oh, well. But yeah, this there'll be another FIFA 13 game in the future, uh, and you will find out what happens because it's it's all right playing FIFA 20 in 2020. But when you play FIFA 08 in 2020, now that is going to be epic. And especially if, because uh, the 2008 game, I believe, had the Ninian Park, which is epic. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Terrible, terrible. But yeah, carrying on from my Bluebirds who turned red story. Uh, at the time, during the night of free scarves, uh, people were checking them on the on the uh, pitch, on the side. And I remember that when uh, people were showing what they think of the red at the time. Shoot! Shoot! Oh! 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 So close. That would have made a good goal as well, lol. So yeah, they were throwing scarves on the side of the pitch. And she was just didn't bother collecting them because they, there's too many on the pitch at the time. So yeah, that was out. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Oh. So close. So yeah, I remember one time uh, I went away, probably last season or so. I went away with my uh, family and <laughs> my uh, my granddad, who breathes Cardiff City as well, but unfortunately isn't going this season. Well, weren't going this season. But when we were on the coach to a away game, oh oh ah. Oh. 
he had the red scarf on. Now, uh, everyone's f friendly on the coach. And they were just like joking how, uh, you still got that? And then, oh, you should burn that one. <laughs> and then my granddad is like, yeah, but it's, it's really nice. It feels nice. <laughs> Uh, it's so funny, and I'm not too sure, but you might still have it, the scarf. <laughs> but yeah, let's be fair, Cardiff in red was a nightmare overall. Yes! Uh, great sadness in recent weeks that uh, the greatest ever player who played for Cardiff City, Peter Whittingham, passed away of course. Now, I can tell you stories of Whittingham, but I'm probably not the right person to do that. I know I'm a hardcore Guard City fan, but you know. But uh, yeah, moving on to uh, the tragic death of our greatest player. Uh, we move on to when we began the protesting now this was big news on TV uh, because of the time when when everyone was coming together even more so than ever uh, over the return of blue now all this return to blue stuff fantastic uh, even the Cardiff City Supporters Trust brought out the uh, very old blue Cardiff City tops, which sold out instantly. And uh, yeah, most people wore that top throughout the protests. Now, it was a fantastic time. We all joined hands, well, I didn't join hands, but we all like came together chanting and to be honest it was the greatest time for our club because what the situation of turning red made of our club it tore it apart but the hardcore fans like myself and a bunch of others like obviously the main people like Anis and all that um, they that's a foul. That's a red. Come on. Yellow. You taking the mitt, you? Anyway. <laughs> uh, yeah. So let's, let's just see how this goes now. But yeah, overall, coming back to the protesting, um, it was a great time because what the situation made throughout its entirety. Tore the fan base completely apart. But when the when there was a return to blue campaign, then people come back together. Now, not everyone came back straight away, but slowly but surely they did. And then I remember sitting outside the stadium at the front. And there was loads of press like waiting for us. There's banners, there's all sorts of stuff. And uh, yeah. Then at the end of it, at 1927, every game we done our scarves, we shouted, we'll always be blue and all that. And then at the very end of it, the greatest result in the world was turning blue. And that, my friends, was my story of when Cardiff turned red and this is the first time in the FIFA franchise that they did turn red so uh, yeah smash like comment share and subscribe of course this is FIFA 13 on PS3 the South Wales Derby where the Bluebirds beat the Jacks in red thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys next time